Hey guys, good morning. Um, my name is Meg. For those of you who are new, if not, welcome back. Sorry I took so long to post the next video, but I'm just gonna show you guys like just a small little routine of what we do in the morning. Um, like check the animals, which I already did, so I won't show that, but um, we spray the chameleon, spray the geckos, check on them, and then like help customers in between if we uh, when we have some. And then everything else on top of that, like if we have to feed, we have to water, bathe, or take out or clean out um, the cages, the animals, like as well. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is fill up the water gallon or the water spray that I have for the chameleons and the geckos that I have to fill up. All right, so this is the first thing I have to fill up. Um, it's It has water, but it's not enough to cover everybody. So I just um, fill it up because to water everybody takes probably up to like right here, like practically the whole thing. So I'm gonna fill it up right now, guys, okay? So what I do is I just release the air. Okay, and then after that, water inside okay give me a second okay as you guys see my uh bearded dragon he's asking for attention because every time i see them do that i take them out and so they got used to it but um i'll open it so you guys can see him. even though i'm going off topic right now guys sorry I mean, well, this is something I do on a daily too, or in the morning. So sometimes I'll walk around with like, um, oh, you want to come out already? Sometimes I'll walk around with the uh, lizard on my shoulder or in my pocket, but he wants to run everywhere. Where are you going? Huh? Are you hungry? You guys are hungry? Okay, I'll feed you guys in a minute. Look at the way he holds me. So cute and we have a lot so if anybody's interested we have a, t a lot of baby beauties right now available okay you have to go back right now but this gallon uh, usually takes about i mean this thing takes about two gallons of water usually just leave it up to like right here because well it takes two but since i already have water um but i leave it up to right here because one it's really heavy and then two um you don't want it i don't know you don't want it too high because then sometimes it can leak but let's close this in. <laughs> First ones I'll spray is um, the chameleons. We have these ones, and then we have a few on the side, but at least make sure to take care of these first. Just because these ones require a lot more water. are wondering they don't really roam out of the cage sometimes they do but not um all the time so that's why i just leave it open and i'll just like spray inside whoa that one's pretty hard hold on let's spray down here first why is this spray so hard 
Defogger machine for them as well, so I'll check it and if it's empty, then I'll go refill it. And it is, and the other one as well, which I can't reach, but I will have to try. I'm gonna show you guys close up. Usually like to spray around him first and then I'll kind of like spray him a little gently I'm not done finish, um, finishing spraying them but I'm just going to show you guys the ones that I have to finish spraying because I have to go through all of them but we have a few in here chameleons in this one as well down here so I have to spray them and I have to spray these two and as well as these panthers let me show you guys then. Here goes one of them. And another one. And another one. And they're still young. That's why their colors are not fully showing. But they will gain a lot of colors. Because panther chameleons are the colorful ones. Now I'm done spraying the chameleons. I'm going to have to... Fill it up with another water gallon because that took a lot of water. But I still have a little bit for now, as you guys can see. So I'll use the remaining on that to spray the chameleon, then, or the gecko. Sorry, guys, I already finished the chameleon. I said I'm just gonna spray the geckos. So I'm gonna put you guys right here. I'm gonna start with the Lichianus gecko. Sorry if the angle is bad, uh, I just can't figure out how to put it.
So you don't want to spray too much because you can uh, make the bedding super, super moist. You don't want to do that. Just spray enough for them to drink and on the plants. I'll show you guys um, one of the geckos. I'll show you guys a gecko right now. Oh no, I can't get this one open. There we go. I just rotate it so you guys can see. Um, let's see if I can show you one of them. <laughs> Somewhere in here. Oh, they're both in here. As you guys can see, I don't really want to bother them, but there goes one and another one. So I'm just. So if you guys are probably wondering why I'm not really um, showing myself recording spraying the geckos because you won't really see them during like the morning daytime uh, they're usually like hiding around in the back but I'll show you guys one of the lychees that we have it's actually he's in the back but like you can see him from the angle he's at I just almost fell <laughs> So there goes one of the lychees that we have. It's a lychianus gecko, and I didn't really want to disturb him or her, but I want to show you guys. There goes one. So there is actually one gecko that is out. Sorry, I'm trying to get up on the ladder, <laughs> but right here, do you guys see that? Which one is he in? All right, hold on. Let me let me flip the camera. <laughs> trying to zoom in to show you guys, but it's blurring out, so I'll just show you like this. But we have one that is actually out right now, while all the other ones are deciding to be in the back, which is normal. There she goes. Oh, I see. All right, bye guys. Thank you for watching all the way until the end. Today is Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas to you guys. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And also, if you guys um, did something or you're doing something, let me know how it goes. Let me know what you did. I'm interested in knowing. All right, guys, bye.